Valley News Live, 10 at 10, continues with no wait weather. All right, we started out the day bitter cold. Now flakes are flying. You're looking at New Rockford from the Department of Transportation camera there and horizontal flakes in Benford on Highway 1. So eastern North Dakota starting to see some of this snow out there. And because, again, temperatures are cold enough, this is that light, fluffy variety snow that's going to blow even in just a little bit of wind. Here's what it looks like on the radar. We're starting to see some of this snow make its way down to the ground in the FM area. Notice the dark blues. This kind of mimics the I-94 corridor here all the way down towards Fergus Falls and into western portions of Otter Tail County and Becker County. Uh, stretching back into eastern and central North Dakota are heavier bands where you see these very dark blues here. We could be seeing some more significant piling up of snow as it works its way through the region. A closer look again, Monoman all the way up through Grand Forks into Nelson County. Uh, there's Cooperstown, Binford right down in this area, seeing that heavier snow work its way through and in the FM area. Roads are still keeping clear, but from time to time, visibility gets reduced. We are at our new high temperature for the day two. Two degrees. We managed to get above zero. It feels marvelous out there. Nine mile per hour winds uh, throughout the day right now down to six. Feels like nine below around the region. We have sub-zero weather in north central and northwest Minnesota. Elsewhere, temperatures rising to zero or just above five degrees down near Wapaton and Breckenridge. Your hour by hour forecast shows the band of snow moving through where you see the deep blue shades here. That's the heavier, more concentrated band of snow that will glide east and into southeast North Dakota and lakes country as we go from midnight into 2 a.m. So this race is through fairly quickly. It's not going to stay over any one location for too awful long, but there will be for the morning some accumulated snowfall in the Southern Valley. Up north, not so much. Temperatures, because you won't have much snow up north, will be cooler, closer to zero to start your day. Down to the south, we're expecting temperatures around five degrees out there. Gazoom tight. Now, as we take a look at your midday forecast, we'll see a few breaks in the clouds. Temperatures way above zero. I mean, we're talking five degrees in some spots, maybe even close to 10. Then in the afternoon, we will hit the teens briefly in our southern counties. Then heading into the evening, we'll see an increase in clouds and once again, a nighttime chance of snow as we head to bed, moving in from the west. So unsettled weather continues, but warmer indeed. How much shovel trouble? In the morning, if you're along Highway 200 and point south, one to three inches of snow, including the FM area. Up to the north of that, a trace to maybe as much as two inches near Grand Forks and particularly southern Grand Forks County. Temperatures have the best shot at the teens, central Minnesota and point south on I-94. Elsewhere to the north, single digits, but most of us above zero. Beautiful shot here. Thanks, Anne, for uploading this Jamestown area. Gorgeous, colorful shot. Warmer still on Friday, but remember, Thursday night into Friday, another shot of snow, keeping things slippery. Enjoy the 20s on Friday because that's all she wrote. Then on Saturday, falling temperatures into the single digits, and then by after the game, teens below zero with a little bit of a rebound early next week. All right, thanks, Hutch. You bet. Up